Are you helping patients understand repeated flexion and its effect on the annulus? You can see with the dynamic disc model, you can show how the disc nucleus can drive posteriorly in the case of repeated lumbar flexion and extension, delaminating the annular fibers. So if symptoms are presenting themselves and you need to help patients understand the symptoms as it relates to their flexion behavior, be sure to use a model to help with annular closure and adaptation before an extrusion takes place.